standoff at Collins Preserve Apartments between I-295 and College Road. Officers confirmed just a few minutes ago that they arrested Rashad Murphy, again, the fourth person arrested in Julio Fulio's shooting death. They believe there's five people involved in this death. Now, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and U.S. Marshal Service tracked Murphy to that apartment complex, excuse me, off Collins Road where they arrested him. Now, we were there earlier. We do know that uh, Murphy was wanted for murder in Tampa in regards to this death. They are still searching for that fifth person that they believe is involved. As of now, we know that all four suspects that have been arrested, police say, have been linked to gang affiliations in the area. Now, prior to this arrest, we do know that Rashad Murphy was facing or is facing rather first degree murder charges, among other things. Police say it was Rashad Murphy and another man who fired shots at the rapper the night he was killed. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is being there. Welcome to Hood's Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. It's cool to be smart. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about fourth suspect arrested out of the five for the Julio Fulio on the live. And man, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, 30-year-old Rashad Murphy was arrested in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, he is the guy that you see here um, that is in the video surveillance that was chasing the car down with the handgun. Um, the police arrived at the apartments that he was at around 9 p.m. They were negotiating for his surrender, right? Just trying to pretty much get him to surrender. Um, the SWAT team ended up breaching the apartment and, you know, attempted to force him out. And he pretty much just gave himself up, right? Now, I don't know what the terms of that negotiation was or pretty much what was going on. Um, but, you know, they pretty much were you know trying to negotiate it with him i've heard you know different stories don't quote me on it but um there were rumblings that this man was attempting to take his own life you know and was telling the police that he was going to take his own life uh, we're going to touch back on a little bit more on that a little bit later right but i mean that's pretty much what was being reported i feel like i heard that on um king ak 47 also um i am what is that um something smoke hip-hop shout out to home homie i can't think of, of, of the name of his podcast i smoke or something like that he's pretty good too also as well um so also there's another suspect the fifth suspect whose name is davion murphy um he's you know still at large they're looking out for him uh because he's been charged with you know first degree and alive and also as well um both are members of the or both are alleged members of the atk gang which is short for aces top killers i did not know that that's what atk stood for i really didn't aces top killers that's what that's allegedly supposed to stand for y'all let me know in the comments if i'm wrong or not but yeah that's what atk allegedly stands for um and they were both members of that gang now um let's talk about this man let's unpack this so um let's just go around the allegation of that homie was attempting to unalive himself right that's deep when you unpack that right because he went on a drill took out julio fulio well allegedly took out julio fulio for whatever reason that he was a part of that right and then when the consequences or the karma came back around to get him it was too heavy right not me knowing how you know and we all know how life really works you know what i mean and a person has to be really mentally strong you know just to go through the ups and flows of life right i mean you know you're gonna go through different things in your life right but something as deep as unaliving somebody right for whatever reason that you did it and then the police SWAT team coming for you and it's real and you seeing the, the people that you was doing it with all get arrested then they found you they found where you was at right it was it's no telling what was going through his mind at that point no telling what was going through his mind at that point and that is deep that's deep i mean you know if it if that's true right because that is we one thing we do know that they did have to negotiate his surrender so whatever that came with right to negotiate this surrender whether he was ready to you know dump it out with the police whether he was about to unalive himself whatever that is right we know that at some point in his mind he probably was weighing what are my best options and none of those were good options right 
kids this is what comes with the streets this is what comes with the streets a lot of bad options right a lot of bad options his options were he could have dumped it out with the police and end up getting himself unalive unaliving himself or i can turn myself in and i can go do the rest of my life in behind bars those were the options that he had those were the options that he gave himself he gave himself those options as a 30 year old man now he the oldest one out of all of the suspects right so he a grown man making grown man decisions the rest of them were babies and you know even they that y'all babies you know y'all still gotta pay for the consequences of the mistakes that y'all made but you know for mr murphy at 30 years old i'm expecting somebody in their 30s to not be on that type of time and to not be on that path right i mean you you know it's no telling we all wake up at different times some people are late bloomers you know i'm not gonna act like nobody had it all figured out at 30 you know what i mean but at the same time you know that's some real deep stuff to unpack man he you know he probably just going over all of his the different emotions the different things that he feeling and then the choices that he gave himself and reality can hit you in a real way when you dealing with real circumstances it can hit you in a very real way to where you start to sit back and and look at it and it's like what's going on like where what what have i what have i done and where have i cornered myself into right i say this and i say it again man this is it's just time to break that overall lifestyle you know what i mean it's always gonna be there you know what i mean the street element of life is always gonna be there you know but as you get older right the people that kind of been through it and grew up in the culture you know just the urban culture in general right you know it's our job right for people that know better an all people job whether you an influencer whether you a teacher whether you a you know a construction worker right if you know some young people that follow you that look up to you that that value your word it is your job it is your obligation to help steer those people the right way it's your job and it's your obligation to do that i'm sorry just point blank period it's your job and it's your obligation you don't have to be the you know highest level influence in the world but in order to really make a, a true difference we need more people from the culture right to steer these babies away and even the the, the adult adult um uh, even the you know your the adult portion of the culture also may also need some guidance or just a helping hand at some point because you know a lot of this that's going on is just senseless man and now mr murphy right is you know sitting in a holding cell contemplating in his mind that man i'm gonna be in this box for the rest of my life right and then you know people are gonna tell them tell on them if they haven't already started telling on them you know a lot of people gonna I, I this is just my you know guesstimation a lot of people gonna tell in this case nobody finna keep it solid you're not dealing with no real just super solid you know street guys and even in them type of situation guys talk tell you know look at bmf you know what i'm saying me st oh, the, the one you know still sitting in jail that was doing 30 to life a lot of some of them guys told you know what i'm saying and that was probably the biggest black you know uh drug organization ever in american history you know so come on man you know what i mean it is what it is but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments man y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments uh mr guy hoods being there big favor big abundance it's cool to be smart don't forget to like share subscribe like share subscribe mr guy hoods being there big favor big abundance i'm gone